Hello, darling, it's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and I'm back with still more Halloween hullabaloo. This time, I've got a special Halloween treat for all of you tricksters. I am going to be showing you an entire feature-length film. Oh, wow, awesome, dude. But this movie is not just an ordinary movie. This movie has its finger on the pulse of repulsive. It's put the gusto back in disgusto. It's George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. And believe me, if this movie don't gross you out, you are dead. But so are half the actors in the film. So sit back, relax, curl up with some popcorn, and squeeze some parquet on the one you love. Because here come the dead. Here come the dead. Order in the graveyard. Here come the dead. In 68, I made a film called Night of the Living Dead here in Pittsburgh. There's a lot of speculation as to why we made the picture initially. But basically, Russ Streiner and Jack Russo and myself got together with a bunch of our friends and with the primary purpose of making a horror movie. And it's meant to be enjoyed more than anything else on that level, which it's gratifying to know that people are out there still watching it. And I'd just like to thank all of you who've been watching this picture for so long and hope you enjoy it this time again. Oh, sure, Barbara, don't knock. Just bust right in like you own the place. If anybody's going to be doing any busting around here, it's going to be me. You know, I figured out why her brother Johnny was in such a big hurry to get back to Pittsburgh. He didn't want to be late for the annual Buddy Holly Impersonators Convention. Well, he is definitely late now. <laughs> and you know that dead guy who was chasing Barbara? Well, when he was alive, he used to work down at the local car wash. Yeah, I'd recognize him anywhere. He was the one who used to wash all the car windows by hand. Well, it looks like Barbara's in big trouble now. Barbara's in trouble, Barbara's in trouble. Stop it, you're acting like a child. Hold it right there, mister. I am not gonna stand for this. Sure, you knock them out, and then you try to knock them up. Boy, I know that old trick. <laughs> it's only happened to me about a thousand times. You just can't show that kind of stuff on MTV. I mean, there's children watching. Because no adult in his right mind would be watching this turkey. Well, it looks like our hammering hero has boarded up the place tighter than a bull, you know what, in fly time. And I kind of wish he had boarded up Barbara's mouth while he was at it. Did you hear her trying out that jive soul talk on him? What's happening? Oh, what's happening? I'll show you what's happening. Let her have it. Right on, bro, right on. They are eating their victims. They are killing and then devouring their victims. First they kill them, then they eat them. They are feeding and feasting. They are picking out on their victims. They are gorging and chowing down. They are making them their meals and their in-between wow, meals. Wow, right, enough of this. The murderers are chewing and biting, swallowing and gulping and lunching and dining out on their victims. I gotta lay it! Here's a cute video by Weird Al Yankovic. It's called Eat It. Eat it and chew it. Bite it and gulp it. Swallow and lunch and drink. Ah! Night of the Living Dead continues after this. Now back to Night of the Living Dead. Mmm, finger licking good. <laughs> wow, talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Guess it goes to prove that it's a dog eat dog world. Or, in this case, a dead eat dead world. In case you just tuned in, I am Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and I'm your Halloween hostess tonight on MTV. <laughs> I know all that. All right, I didn't just want you to think I was a passing thing. Well, this isn't a passing thing, honey. It, it's not like just a wind passing through. Yeah, I'm not like a passing wind, except I imagine eating the dead would probably make you pass a little wind. <laughs> anyway, all this talk about eating is just making me starve. Let me see, what should I have? Hmm, ribs sound good, or what about... Liver. Mmm. Oh, lady fingers. Brain. Tongue. Breast. 
the what? Oh. Night of the Living Dead continues right after this. <laughs> now back to tonight's Halloween feature, Night of the Living Dead. Oh, boy, wasn't that a great movie? How oh, I just love a movie where everybody winds up getting it in the end. Or, in this case, in the head. Well, darling, that about wraps up our night of macabre madness here on MTV. I trust you had a safe, insane Halloween. Thanks for spending the night with me. Hope you enjoyed being had as much as I enjoyed having you. Well, as I always say at a time like this, unpleasant dream. Oh, and, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Trick or treat! <laughs>